We are back with the STM32MP1 and today we will be running our programs from the internal SRAM. This is the first instance after the built-in ROM code and uh, it's also called the first stage bootloader uh, but instead of uh, loading other images we will run our program here and uh, this means we have 100% uh, of control of the board there's nothing activated here so no uh, trust zone protection and also the watchdog is not being set here and uh, by the way we have the interrupt vector fully available and we can use all the interrupts I made here a small debug program to read uh, registers and write to them to take a look uh, what's inside and uh, with it create some drivers for the STM so let's take a look so in order to put our program into the internal SRAM we have to use the ARM trusted firmware so this is the FSBL so the first stage bootloader and this can be downloaded uh, directly from the github page and you got everything described here what you have to do so after you download this uh, our program will be located in the BL2 this is actually the FSBL and we will be using the BL2 main file and uh, right here we can start with the BL2 main function and put right here our application and uh, make a loop before we go any further so this will be our program and uh, now how to build it let's get into the bl2 folder right here uh, on the page there's a description how to build it but i added uh, a script here we can open it with the notepad and this is just the default building of the image and it's made into the script so let's build it so let's copy this open the command prompt go to this directory invoke the linux okay and uh, now we can uh, run the script so to run the script we have to type in something like this and the name of the script so build.sh and as you see it's getting builded uh, the result of the program you can find in the build folder release and this is the file and now how to uh, get the file written into the SD card you have to copy it and open up the folder where you got the images and in the images you have the folder arm trusted firmware and uh, we want to uh, copy the name of the SD card and rename our file as the SD card okay and now we can just open up the cube programmer but first let's uh, uh, get the port into the bootloader mode okay, to get the port into the bootloader mode you just have to flip the switches into the off position and now let's click reset okay it starts blinking so it's in the bootloader mode okay so we got the STM connected and now let's just close this and open it again so we click this open file and this is the file that I created to uh, download uh, custom files so let's open it up 
And what we want to write to the SD card is only the first stage bootloader. So, okay, we can just leave uh, two of those instances. And now let's click download. Okay, so the image to write the SD, the SD card is being written and now everything is written. Okay, so we can disconnect. Okay, now let's set up the SD card mode. So the second switch and the fourth switch have to be turned on. Now let's click reset and we are in our program. So let's take a look at the terminal. Okay, let's open up the first port and we got a uh, pop-up message about the status of the devices. Uh, so now let's uh, read uh, the base address of the two-wire interface number five. So we got the address right here. So let's copy it. And uh, down below we can see uh, a command prompt uh, RG and this will be reading from the register address. So let's type in RG and our address. So we got uh, the address content here. So this is the first byte, I mean, the first bit, and this is the last one. So now let's uh, disable the interface completely so let's write zeros here so to write we get we got a command here wr and here we write instead of the address uh, the value that we want to put in so the address is uh, being uh, kept from the read operation so as we read this register in order to write to it we have to put in WR and uh, let's type in eight zeros. So, okay, and now we got uh, the content changed to zeros. Uh, we can also read it again to make sure it's all disabled. And it is. So, this is a small program to take a look about the contents of the registers, what's in there and uh, how the internals uh, work. So hope you find it useful and see you in the next one.